Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to Dunkster Bricks. Uh, I am Duncan. If it's your first time here, welcome. And uh, yeah, this is a bit of a collective haul. So it's just a little haul, very small, but I'll just go through some Lego sets. So I managed to get uh, the Magisto's Workshop. Sorry, Magisto's Magical Workshop. So I got this. I did not get it as a gift with purchase. I bought it off of um, Bricklink. Uh, probably bought it a bit too soon because I think some sets are sort of like about five pounds cheaper at the moment. So if you want Magisto's Magical Workshop and you don't, well, have to want to wait around for a gift with purchase, go to Bricklink. Uh, someone will be able to, well, sell you one and it saves having to buy a massive Lego set when you just want this, really. That's all. So that's good. Um, also managed to get uh, an Indiana Jones set. Managed to get this in Sainsbury's. Just, uh, it was slightly reduced down to 26.95. So I think the retail price is 34.99 or something like that. So got that, which is good. So I now have an Indiana Jones, the um, Ninjago City Market, no, not City Market, City Gardens has a uh, clutch powers. So I now have an Indiana Jones, which is cool. I think I got it for that really. And also it's got a sticker with C3PO and R2 Dito on it in hieroglyphs kind of thing which is kind of a nice little touch um yeah so i got that just for fun um i do have the scooby-doo stuff and i've got like an old museum set so and with the i suppose the modular museum coming out having a kind of an egyptology sort of display maybe one day would be nice whether that actually happens i doubt it i don't know We'll find out. And I also got this. This is actually a Christmas present, so I haven't actually got it yet. Um, but yeah, uh, it was basically... Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be for Christmas, so I haven't built it yet. But um, I've finally got Ahsoka and I've got uh, Sabine Wren as well. Because I haven't got Sabine Wren originally with uh, my Ghost and Phantom that I originally had. So there you go. Um, so that's cool. Just a few sets there. But... Um, other things I got, I got some red train wheels. These are from, originally they were from the holiday train set. And I just got some extra ones. I've got three, a uh, set of three spare. But I wanted to get some more just so I could build another engine really. So I've got three more sets of these. So I've got enough for two more engines. Um, and this is also, well, part of getting this is also... Um, well, it also relates to the Lego Orient Express. I haven't got it yet. I won't be getting it for a little while, but I wanted to try and find some traction tires or some rubber bands that fit Lego tires that aren't Lego. So I looked on bricks and uh, pieces to get the official Lego ones, but they're like £2.27 each for a rubber band. Now the Lego ones will be excellent and they will fit the wheels perfectly, but I thought, I'd try Amazon and I went to Amazon, got from a buyer, I think this was $12.99 for a bunch of rubber bands, which sounds a lot for rubber bands, but they're for a specific purpose and they fit specific diameters of wheel. So what I'm going to do is I've got, um, these are the wheels that are already from an open set and I just want to find out if these are actually going to fit. So if I try this, this red one should just go around it. And these are really, really important. If you want to motorize your Orient Express, or if you want to mo motorize your um, Hogwarts Express, then traction tires are really important. The Lego train wheels have grooves for these, and they, they're just needed. Even if you want to push them, push the engine with no motor in it, and it, you're motorizing another carriage, in order for the train wheels to move smoothly on track, then you need the traction tires. So that's it. So that's, um, these were from Amazon, obviously 12 99 I got a bunch of different sizes for that price, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 red, effectively traction tires for my railway, um, for my train engine and for my train wheels and that's 12 99 and I've got a bunch of other ones so if I've got extra different sizes of train wheels the bigger train wheels maybe they're off the um, larger Hogwarts Express and someone's uh, and like putting them on a train or an engine that will actually fit on normal Lego track then this could be an option for you but yeah don't 
think that traction tires are difficult to get hold of because I mean if I was just ordering traction tires from all those rubber bands from Lego then it would cost like what's that nine nine pounds plus postage as well if I wasn't buying anything else but yeah Amazon 12.99 I managed to get some of these so there are alternatives out there um, and I don't I'm not that fussed about these not being official leg out to be honest they should work and they will work quite nicely whether they last as long as official lego ones i doubt it but there you go so that's cool so i've got extra train wheels for say small mock engines i've got um the traction tires so that my mock engines will work and uh and also when I finally get the Lego Orient Express, I will also have traction tires for that as well because I will be modifying it. Well, I want it to run. Whether it will run with the actual stock carriages or not, I don't know. It's very, very heavy and I've got R40 track on my layout, so probably won't be doing it um, with the stock carriages that much because they're, well, like everything, even my Holgermath is my um, large, I think they're seven wide uh, sort of, um, Pullman cars and stuff like that they're really really heavy and the only way I can get them to run really is by sort of like putting two engines in front of it with normal standard uh, the Lego train motors so it's sort of like three or four train motors pulling them and then it runs smoothly but they're really really heavy I think the the Lego um, Orient Express just looks well it is very heavy if you want to see uh, someone motorize it brick trains video or put a video down below and he did it and it really does uh yeah it the motor struggles and the powered up system struggles a lot but it's just weight that's all it is really uh so other rolling stock it looks like it works really well so um so if you're not familiar with brick trains then he is um on the a4 podcast i'm sort of like halfway through watching this week's podcast or probably not even actually probably a third of the way through um, really good movie reviews and stuff didn't talk about snacks and everything so it does feel like they're losing their way a bit but um yeah and they uh yeah talk about lego a lot and old lego and stuff like that so and they have discussed the lego orient express but it was recorded before it was released but they have seen videos about it so anyway check that out it's uh always good and entertaining yeah there we go bit of a quick call quick video but um yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one